Now for today's Bible question. Today we have been learning about baptism. Someone might ask the question, why do I need to be baptized? There are several reasons why a Christian should be baptized. Number one, if you have received Jesus Christ as your Lord and your Savior, you have confessed that he is the ruler of your life. If he is in charge and he commanded his followers to be baptized, then you must do what he commanded. If you fail to do his commands, then calling him Lord is rather meaningless. It is a rather simple test of whether he really has become the Lord of our life. If you do what he says, it shows that you have indeed given him the rightful place as Lord. But if you refuse to obey him, then it is clear that he is not your Lord, even if you say or think he is. Secondly, baptism is a public testimony of your faith in Jesus Christ. It is the way you tell the world that you have now decided to follow Jesus. This is important so others can also learn about Jesus and what it means to become a Christian. If no one ever publicly declared their faith in Jesus, how would the world know who the Christians were? This is why it is important that baptism is a public event. It is a good idea to invite family and friends and anyone who might benefit from your testimony to your baptism so they can also learn about following Jesus. Thirdly, baptism is symbolic of what happened to the new believer. When being baptized, a person is immersed in water to symbolically represent that they have died with Christ. This means that as a Christian, they have given up their old sinful life. When the person comes up out of the water, it symbolically represents that they have been raised up to a new life with Jesus, just as he rose from the dead. While baptism is purely symbolic, it does reinforce the important change in the new believer, that he is a new creation and that old things have passed away. Lastly, the Bible does not even contemplate a believer who has not been baptized. If you look carefully through the New Testament, you will not find one instance of a believer who resisted or refused to be baptized. The longest period between conversion and baptism was about three days, and that was the case of Paul when he was converted on the road to Damascus and he was struck blind by a vision of the Lord. He waited in Damascus about three days before Ananias was led by the Lord to find him and baptize him. It is clear from the Bible that baptism was immediate upon a person's confession of Jesus as their Lord and personal Savior.